testing, testing, this thing even on. Alright, welcome to my first ever vlog. Alright, so Electric Night Concept sent me a comment and he was asking if I was Bryson of London. No, I'm not Bryson of London, I'm Alex of London. I'm Ori, also known as Squishy of London, and uh, I believe earlier in the year I was spinning with uh, Perfectly Gothic of Kitchener, or Hamilton. One of the two. Pretty sure he's in, he's in that general area. Right, so on the, on the uh, topic of poi right now, um, I'm a fire spinner. I've been spinning for about 18 months. I've been spinning for 18 months, and I've been using the same set of sock poi for a year and a half. Now, these are them. They're uh, just made of regular old socks. They're kind of grungy looking because they're so old, and they're kind of stretched out a little bit. Like, obviously, your socks don't look like this at first. Uh, i got some holes in them, obviously. They're kind of old, kind of grungy. Now, it's not actually tennis balls or hacky sacks or anything here. It's actually old cat toys. So these are actually full of catnip. My cat goes nuts every time I play with these. Uh, he just, you know, chases them around, jumps at them, gets hit in the face. You just, you know, I try not to do that to him, but, you know, he just, he gets in the way sometimes. So, um, I find sock poi are a lot of fun for a bunch of reasons. Uh, I mean, as you can see, I've made mine out of socks and cat toys. I mean, that should just tell you how easy it is to make. I mean, I was in Toronto once, and I made set of sock poi out of some of those little shampoo bottles and a pair of socks. Like I took the shampoo bottles, put them in a plastic bag because no one wants shampoo covered socks to wear. And uh, yeah, you know, I made a quick set of sock poi, went out, spun with them for an hour, you know, had a good time. So I don't really know what I'm going to talk about for the rest of my first ever vlog, but uh, here's an idea. What are your poi made of?